Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN. Y'all know what time it is. Time for chapstick. Yes, part of the crazy is just things like this. Is I wait until I do a video and, and realize my lips are dry. As if I, as if I didn't know that ahead of time. <laughs> the troll be nothing without face paint on. I consider myself a troll. A cute troll when I do put on face paint. But a troll nonetheless. Today I'm going to be trying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is almost the exact same shade, which is great, as the Cover Fix um, Power Play in G60, which I can wear year round because it nails my undertone, but I just have to make sure that I use a bronzer around the perimeter of my face when I have a tan, which is right now. <laughs> so I'm going to try this out, and I'm going to do an eye look playing with my Inglot pigments. I think I'm going to do one eye without mixing with the door line and one, wide, one eye with just so I can see does it really make a difference and part of me is like why did I even think to try mixing the pigments with the loose pigments with the door line because y'all know I'm lazy I don't want to wet the brush I don't want to use my finger I just want to dip the brush into a shadow and put it on my eyes so then I'm thinking why did I, why am I thinking I'm gonna really be mixing stuff and I bought the mixing tray and spatulas I'm, I think I might have been sleepy when I was purchasing this stuff. I'm thinking I was going to do this, but I'm going to try it, see if it works. So anyway, I'm going to apply this and do my base face. And then I'm going to do the eye look with the pigments. And I'm going to split up the video so that there's two separate videos. One with the foundation and one with the Inglot Loose pigments. So what we're going to do, and I didn't pull any of my brushes out. So what I'm going to do first is what I normally do, found, um, my foundation. The Hydro Grip Milk Primer on a glass dish. Just one pump of that. I do already have skincare on. So I'm just going to put this primer all over. I'm going to stipple it first and then go through and blend. Well, not blend, but you know what I mean. And I can tell where it is and where it's not because it's, it feels cool. The sensation of the primer is cool. So I can tell that it is actually all over from when I initially stipple it. We're having tornado warnings, tornado watches, severe thunderstorm warnings in my area. I live in Bear, Delaware. A tornado touched down the other night, so I'm told, about 15 miles from me and took half of someone's house when they left. I haven't looked up any articles about it, so I don't know if it's true or not. That's just something somebody was like, oh, yeah, my son sent me pictures of such and such. So I'm like, oh, okay. So anyway, that is that. I'm going to start with... For you guys, if you use Rakuten, which used to be Ebates... I received the email that Macy's had a 20% off sale. I'm not 20% off. Rakuten was doing 20% cash back from Macy's. And so that's why I ordered this foundation because it is pricey. It's like 40 something dollars. And so I'm like, okay, I'll get 20% cash back. And a free gift with the foundation, you got the pump for free. And the pump is $10. So I'm like, 20% cash back and a free $10 pump. I'm like, okay. So I'm really hoping this works for my skin. I did try it yesterday on, on my hand just as a color swatch with um, the Cover Effects Power Plan G60, the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation and Fawn, and the Anastasia Illuminous Foundation in 355N. And it looks like it'll be a good match. It, it perfectly matches the Cover Effects. Um, so I'm going to, all right, well, that's two pumps, but it really doesn't look like a lot. So we'll see what it does. I didn't put on, um, any concealer because I want to see what this foundation is going to do for my under eye discoloration. And I have a tan right now too. So my skin is just looking different as far as the tone. I, I know what I was going to say. I noticed yesterday when I was putting this on my hand, it has a distinct odor to it, like a chemical type smell. And so I'm hoping 
that the smell doesn't linger on my face and I'm also hoping that it doesn't break my skin out. I'm not really smelling it that much now. But even when I pumped it on here just now, I was like, oof. So we will see what happens. I am experiencing breakouts on my chin area and I'm not sure why. I haven't been wearing any foundation. I think it might just be allergies from when I was from when I was walking the park because of all the grass and things like that. Not that I'm rolling around in the grass, but my skin is just really funny. It's really temperamental. I haven't changed any of my skincare, so I know it's not that. I think I'm liking this. I'm gonna put a little, yeah, so that was about two pumps and I did use all of the two pumps I even like went on here and wiped it because I realized when I dabbed it under here first that took up most of the two pumps and so I had to kind of scrub to be able to cover my forehead area but I know next time to just go lighter with the dabs <laughs> so that it will be enough to go all over so I am going to take some concealer Looking down here, it looks dark under my eyes, but it may just be how the lighting is because the lighting is directly behind my phone, whereas down here it's not. So I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to put on concealer. So let's just keep let's just keep it moving. Let's just keep it moving, people. The Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. translucent setting powder and I don't bake I just put this on in my oily areas well under my eye to set concealer which I didn't put concealer on today so I probably didn't need to do this but I get really oily like right here around my nose and on my chin and my forehead so my t-zone area basically and then I just push it in push 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 I do have a damp sponge here that I completely forgot to press in the foundation then I immediately take a fluffy powder brush and wipe all that off or rub it in or buff it out whatever you want to call it oh I look uh, like Casper okay so I'm thinking that foundation is uh more matte than i thought because with the cover effects and with all the other ones the powder doesn't stick to it like that like you can see like where the powder is and where it's not oh and that is about the same amount of powder i usually put on oh my gosh <laughs> i'm trying to buff out the powder oh my and this is the matte foundation. It does have a locking mechanism when you turn the pump, which is nice. Yeah. And also it came with um, this plastic shield thingy. So when you travel with it, you can put that on there and that'll prevent it from being pushed down too. But you do have to turn it to unlock it to pump it down. So it's sort of like a double, um, what am I trying to say? An extra safety contraption? What am I trying to say? Welcome to the crazy. Somebody right below what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's a two-step process to making sure that this doesn't accidentally pump down and you lose foundation when you don't want to. That's what I was trying to say. Oh my gosh, this is a... Uh... I'm liking it, but yeah, I really had to work that... Uh... <laughs> Work that powder out, which I, I don't mind having to do that. I'm going to take the Fenty. I'm not going to use. Yeah, I am. Just a little bit of the Fenty Honey, because I'm I'm afraid to just go in with the Nutmeg, because this foundation does seem to be holding on to the powder, and Nutmeg is too dark for me, so I have to use it very lightly. 
but I'm afraid that this foundation will just make it cling and then it will look super, super dark. And so this is just honey, just to put some life back into my complexion because right now, because the Estee Lauder, I don't think I said what shade it was, 4 into Spiced Sand because it is almost exactly, or actually is exactly the same as the cover effects, is too light for me this time of year. And so this is going to, this powder is going to make it look like it's not too light. And then I'm going to go in with the nutmeg. Just a tiny, tiny bit in the lid. And I'm going to press the brush and swirl it around. I always start like in this area with nutmeg. I'm gonna take just a little bit more. Ooh, too much. Oh when I when I do too much, I do under my chin first. For this right here. <laughs> and then whatever's left caught in the brush, I do along my jawline. So, so far I am liking this foundation, my first time using it, so we'll see later if my skin likes it. Hopefully, yeah, I like that. And I like that I didn't even um, put on, oh, I forgot to put on my blush, the Bordeaux Brat. I usually put that on right over top of the foundation since it's a cream. So what I'm gonna do is, is take my NARS, I'm checking the expiration date. <laughs> This is Sin. So I'm going to use a different brush in case I go back with this one to dab my sweat. So I'm gonna take a different brush. And I'm just going to put on some blush, just a little bit. I don't even know if this brush is picking it up, is it? Well, yeah, I can tell it is because I can see it on my face. I can see it on this side. Maybe it's shadier on this side. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on a brush. It's the lighting, cause down here, this side looks darker. But when I look in here, this side <laughs> looks darker. Maybe that's why my foundation never looks, my makeup in general never looks even. Because I'm looking up here using this light and then I'm looking down here where it's dark and so it looks we're going to leave it like that so it just looks different. I know I keep starting sentences and not finishing them. And am I getting a shiny already? All right, we're going to, I didn't pull my stuff out, do my brows. So I'm going to end this video here and later I will talk about, well, I'll come back and let you see what this foundation is looking like. I do sweat sitting in front of these lights. And so it's not going to be like a, a long wear test. It'll probably just be like an hour. Or I could just come back later in a couple hours. I'm trying to wind up my Fenty brow pencil. So, okay, where? Don't tell me this is over. What? Wait a minute. Where's my pencil? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, what the... <laughs> There it is. I'm like, where did it go? All right, so I'm gonna end this video here and I will do another clip later and show you what things are looking like. So thank you for watching. You'll see me, it'll seem like a couple seconds. Am I shiny or is that the lights? I am shiny already. Ah. After I do my brows, I'm going to put setting spray on and hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. So you guys will see me very soon. Today I am wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I keep wanting to say Stay In Place Foundation, 
because it is a foundation, but it actually says stay in place makeup on here. I put it on maybe hmm, two hours ago. I did not set it with any powder. I wanted to see what it was going to do. I also don't have one concealer. All I have one is primer, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and two pumps of the foundation and two drops of the Boccia Sabaki Beauty Oil in the foundation, mixed it and applied it. So that is all that's on my face today. As I said, it's been about two hours and it is still a little tacky. Like, I don't know what it takes for this to dry down, <laughs> but when I touch it, it's still tacky. So this is a foundation that I will definitely have to set with powder because if I were to put this on and then go outside, just imagine all the pollutants and allergens that'll be just sticking to my face. Ew, and I can feel like my hand sticking to my face. But so to me, even the thought of that is just gross. And so I just wanted to come and say this real quick that I am still trying out the foundation. I am loving the color. And even without any powders on, um, I think it looks good color wise. When I am full tan, which is here, I do definitely have to put on bronzer on the perimeter of my face because this foundation matches my non tan. But I've been indoors, the few times I have been out, it's been like 5.36 in the morning, so it's not even really sunny, and so my tan is starting to fade a little bit. And so even with nothing else on, I'm liking the shade, which I mentioned in another video. This is 4N2 Spice Sand, which is the exact color of the Cover Effects Power Play in G60 that I wear. And so I love that I have another foundation that's the exact same shade, and then I can see which one works best. So far, I am really liking this one, except it's not drying down. The Cover Effects does dry down. Um, so I just wanna see. It's not creasing under my eyes. As I said, I did not put on any concealer. And every now and then I go look in the mirror, and, and I don't put foundation directly under my eyes. When I put it on with a brush, I dab it here. And then as I'm blending around my face, whatever's left on the brush, I do put under my eyes. And so maybe that's why it's not creasing under my eyes, because I didn't directly put foundation under there. Um, I keep checking around my nose, because it usually breaks up around here, and my laugh lines. And my chin usually gets really oily. And also my forehead, well, my T-zone, like this area here. And so I'm not really oily, but because it's not drying down, it just looks shiny in certain places. Anyway, so that was just a quick update on that. For Color Match and MAC, I am an NC42, NC43, or NC45, depending on my level of tan. Zero tan, I'm an MC42. Full tan, which is fading, I'm an NC43. So in between those, when the tan comes or the tan is leaving, I'm an NC43. So that's for color reference. Makeup Forever is just all over the map. When I was wearing that foundation, I was buying four per year because my, my complexion just kept changing with the seasons and how much sun exposure I had. Um, also color reference for Becca, Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I wear this shade in Fawn, which has a, a slight red undertone, and so it looks a tad off, but I can make it work with powder. Um, another foundation that is a good match, not 100%, but really close, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation 355N. This one leans a little neutral for the undertone. I can't make it work but I have to work to make it work. Whereas the Estee Lauder and the CoverGirl, that's an insult, this is not CoverGirl. <laughs> Whereas the Estee Lauder and the Cover Effects nail my undertone. These two are definitely gonna be my go-tos. And if I'm just wanting something different, <laughs> then I'll wear one of these two. But since I started using the Estee Lauder, I really doubt that I will repurchase either one of these because I have to make it work. These two I do not have to make it work. With the tan, just put on bronzer, but that's easy. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know 
about the different foundations you use and why you use different foundations? Do you find that you're having to make them work or do they just work because the color is good for your undertone? And also, do you match your undertone or do you match your actual complexion? Like what's more important to you? Thanks for watching guys.